Hi guys, West Country Explorer again. Today I'm out and about on my bike. What I'm doing is I'm following the River Tarrant, which is in North Dorset area, because along the River Tarrant there's eight villages. They all take the first part of their name from the river. So eight villages, all with the same first name, Tarrant. And I just thought I'd come along and explore, see what's about and do a bit of recording. Well guys, hope you enjoy. See you in the main bed. Well, at the start of the River Tarrant, is Tarrant Gunville, which is where we are now. Now there's not a nucleus to the village as such, it's just sort of a long road with houses straddling it. Now I've, I've, in these eight villages I've done a bit of research, see if I can see what interesting info I can find. And one thing I found out about Tarrant Gunville is that Gunville House at one point was owned by Josiah Wedgwood. It was Josiah Wedgwood's father who started the Wedgwood Company. Josiah carried it on. And Josiah's brother, Thomas Wedgwood, he lived in nearby Eastbury House. Another one of those telephone boxes that have been turned into a library. Thomas Wedgwood, he is known by some historians as the first photographer. He was a, he was a early pioneer in the development of the first like, um, camera photography. Well, like I said, there's no nucleus as such to Tarrant Gunville. What I mean by that is there's no like village green around which sort of the village has developed, just developed in a long line along the river. What I'm going to do guys, I'm going to quickly take you up to the church and do a bit of recording around there. All right, we're just coming up to St Mary's Church, Tarrant Gunville. Like I said, quite a nice little place. Uh, come under it. Boop, boop. Oh. Bit overgrown this part of the graveyard. Zoom in on the clock and you can see the clock's wrong. It's not five to ten. It's about quarter past three in the afternoon. No, quarter to three even. I'm wishing away half an hour of the day. Let's see if we can have a quick look inside. Might be closed, probably will be. I'd be surprised if it's open. Oh. There's a bit of a church plan. See how big the graveyard is. Right, is it open? Oh, it is as well.
Do a quick look round. Oh, there's a fancy organ. I see the whole end of this. This whole section is quite a fancy decoration, isn't it? Not often you see stuff like that. So, um, <laughs> I don't know, it's got a bit of a, bit of a chintzy 1970s feel to it. <laughs> kind of decoration you expect to see in your grand's house. That's lots of the church. I'll come back out. Shut, door. shut that door. Come back from here. Oh, sorry. Yep. Shut this door. Oh, shut the door properly, Dave. Right then. As you can see, pretty close by. It's a nice posh house. Right then guys, on to the next Tarrant. Hi guys, here we are at Tarrant Hinton. Just down there sort of is a main road in the area. Here we've got a dried up stream. You can see little culverts here. So when there's a lot of water on the road, it flows down there into the stream. There's another village that's kind of just stretched out along a road. For the most part, anyway. Got some nice buildings here. The old school cottage. The village hall there, I'm guessing. Quite an interesting little bridge there. Can't see what that sign says. I can make out a date. Looks like 1830. See some more bill, some more estates just up there. Houses and that. But up here to the church. Tarrant Hinton is sort of in this area that you've got the Great Dorset Steam Fair. And also in nine no, in nine thirty-five, I was about to say nineteen thirty-five, but in the year nine thirty-five, early tenth century, was it King Athelstan? I think it was King Athelstan gave some land at Tarrant Hinton to Sherborne Abbey and in return the nuns at Sherborne Abbey had to pray hard for him right so there's a footpath up there Right, little footpath up that way, but I'm not going to go there. What I'm going to do is also oh, there's a footpath up there that goes back to Tarrant Gunville. Sounds like a helicopter, no, helicopter up ahead by the sound of it. What I'll do is just have a little look around here. Try and make sure I don't walk on any graves whilst recording. Oh, there it is. This helicopter. Uh, 
Add stones in the undergrowth, look. Let's see if we can go inside. No, unfortunately this church is closed. Not too surprising. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go off to the next turret, which is Turret Launston. See you there. Oh man. This feels strange holding it in my left hand while cycling and recording. On the odd occasions when I've done this, recorded while cycling along, I've been doing it with my right hand, holding it with my right hand, so... Uh, a bit of a hedgerow, ha ah. Yeah. Do what I can. Just... Show some of the sights that I'm cycling through. It is quite enjoyable getting out on your bike through the countryside. Can't beat it, eh? Can't beat it. Right then. I think that's enough recording for the moment. Right, Tarrant Launston. Sorry, I started recording just as a cow mood. Um, Tarrant Launston. It's just a few houses dotted around. Yes, Barracup, I know. I mean, you can't even call it a village. There's uh, a couple of houses up there, not much. Probably a little bit more down there. Yeah. Well, I suppose, could you call it a hamlet? Definitely not a village. I barely call it a hamlet. I mean, uh, there's lawns and farmhouse and cottages. But it's an interesting thing, right? A bit of research I did when I was looking into the various turrets. What I'm going to do is rather than record the house and make the owners possibly paranoid if they're watching me, I'm just going to record this field of cows. Don't want anyone thinking, why is he recording our house? But anyway, yeah. When I was researching the turrets, Bit of information I found out for Tarrant Launston. Tell you what, guys, I'll flip you around so you can see me while I'm talking. Yeah, there you go. You'd rather be able to see me while I'm talking than just a random field of cows. So, um, yeah, Tarrant Launston, back in 1086, when the Doomsday Book was compiled, there was 24 households recorded in Tarrant Launston, which put it, put the village in the top 40% of settlements of the time so which means that what a thousand odd years ago well nearly a thousand years ago Tarrant Launston was one of the more sort of the top end of populations fast forward to the early 21st century when you can hardly call Tarrant Launston a hamlet, not even a village, it kind of makes you think, how on earth could this place ever have been within the top 40% of settlement? I mean, nowadays I'd say it's probably within the bottom, possibly within the bottom 2% of settlements or something stupid like that, you know. <laughs> nowhere near the top end of settlements nowadays I mean there's hardly anything to it so <laughs> this is a brief bit of Tarrant Launston <laughs> now on to the next one Tarrant Monkton let's see if there's any more there nice little marker stone that's for Tarrant Launston up there where we've just come from and here we are Tarrant Monkton Here's the river Tarrant, well, stream. Now we're on the edge of Tarrant Moncton. And it's definitely got a lot more to offer than Launston did. Nice little ford there. Seen a few vehicles go through there already. Got a few 
few more four more torrents to go after Moncton all right what I'm gonna take you is I'm gonna take you a little bit further into the village few buildings, a few nice old cottages. And this has got a bit of a village centre feel to it. There's quite a few nice houses down there. Langton Arm closes at R3 and it's now about 20 to 4 so I can't go in there for a pint Best having a drink by about 10 minutes but I can take you to the church show you around I must admit, it's been quite nice to have been able to stop at the pub for a drink on a ride. No. Oh no, this is quite different. Look at this. Nice few little flowers there. It's quite a nice little house next to the church. See if it's open, possibly not. Oh. Yes, it is. So if you want to read that a bit better, you can always pause. Ooh, some oak steps. Ooh. Oh, I've just put those dinky little chairs. Huh? That's the church. Wander back out. Oh, I can get the door open. Like I said, I think Tarrant Moncton definitely got a nice village feel to it. There you go guys, oh, random stone there, halfway through the torrents, let's crack on with the rest of it. Right, well Torrent Rawlston, another place with hardly anything to it, just up there is a farm, noisy car, yeah so farm and a big house and here we've got a 
few cottages and this is about it so oh. motorbike and bike yeah so this is pretty much all there is to Tarrant Rawlston it's one of these places you can't call it a village probably well barely a hamlet it's just a few houses along the roadside and that's all there is to it really um, of a delivery driver <laughs> seen a few delivery drivers out and about anyway yeah that's all there is to this one so off now to Tarrant Rushton right here are to Tarrant Rushton view of the houses here and down here along the end of this road you've got the church just coming into view Now the church has just been closed up, so we can't go inside. But the good thing is, guys, I got there in time to go inside and do a video for my Dorset's Best Churches series. So if you want to see the inside of this church then I definitely recommend going to see that video that I'll be doing uh, that'll be episode 5 in my series of Dorset Best Churches I so you get to see a bit of the outside in this video So there you go guys, this is a part of Tarrant Rushton. I think there's a bit more to it which I'll go and investigate. Alright, so this is effectively the rest of Tarrant Rushton. Right, just houses along this stretch of road. Well, I guess, guys, I'm going to now take you to Tarrant Keenston. That's the next one. I don't really fancy cycling through that water. River Tarrant. Yep. Bench there to sit on and enjoy the views of the river. <laughs> Mr. Helicopter, hello, Mr. Helicopter. So, I mean, I'm in Tarrant Keenston at the moment. Back that way is the main road between Blandford Forum and Wimborne. Got a pub on that main road, the Lover's Knot, I think it's called, if I remember. Right. That's just another little village that sort of stretched along a bit. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to cycle along a bit. So this is just cycling through Tarrant Keenston. I think it's possibly the best way to try and record it. Little plane up there. To get a feel for the village.
hopefully this recording comes out all right not too bad sorry if it's a bit shaky recording while I'm cycling along <laughs> get bumpy vision probably not the best or safest thing to do guys so wouldn't recommend you do this at home Keystone Lodge uh, again stretched out a bit not necessarily what I'd think of as a village as well I suppose actually saying that probably would think of it as a village if I was just randomly driving through it oh here comes a white van uh, oh he gave a cheery wave I hope I picked that up on camera If it didn't get picked up on camera very well, that van driver gave me a smile and a wave, so that was nice of him. Oh, yeah. Alright. Village Hall. Here we come to the church. A uh, bit of precision cycling, will he do it, will he do it, will he do it, oh, yeah, let's slow down Dave. Right then, here we are at the church. Oh. There we go guys. Um, can't remember the name of this church. Let's go inside and see if it's open. Saints Church, there we go. Bad little church. Bit plain, bit plain, but hey, with no complaints. There you go guys, there's a bit of a chunk of Tarrant Keenstone. There's a village, a bit of the village. I think what I'm going to do now is off to the last one, which is Tarrant Crawford. Yeah, Tarrant Crawford I think it is. See you there guys. Well guys, oh, I'm going to start cycling. This is a bridal way to Tarrant Crawford. You can see the, you might be able to see the church over there. So, cycling, oh, bump it, fuck it, ah, bumping me knackers, sorry. Yeah, cycling one-handed whilst recording with the other hand, holding, holding me mobile in the other hand. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, tree roots. Here we 
Oh, man, I'm trying to fly now. Oh, man. Oh, dear, crumpets. Oh, 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 bumpy, bu oh, flipping neck. <laughs> oh, this is such good fun. <laughs> it may not sound it, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> oh, guys, look at it, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, welcome to the Dorset countryside. Ooh. I'll tell you something, if I fall off my bike, I'm going to send a video into You've Been Framed. Is that still going, You've Been Framed? I remember watching it back in the days when it was um, Jeremy Beadle. And then it was, um, what's her name? Lisa Riley, was it? The last off of Emmerdale. I think it's Harry Hill's done it for a stint, hasn't he? Is he still doing it? I don't know. Alright. Uh. Oop, bump, bump, bump. Right. Oop, uh, here we come to a stop. Tarrant Crawford Church. So I'll start the recording here and then find the village. Right, so here we are in the church. As you can see, guys, nice, quiet countryside. Right now, this church appears in Dorset's Best Churches book, and I've just done a bit of recording for it to do a video in that series. That's going to be episode six of the Dorset Best Churches series. So if you're interested in seeing the church, like a good video on the church and on the inside, I recommend you go and see that video when I, as soon as I've got it uploaded. But I won't go inside now because I've done the inside for that video. But And this video is more about the villages. So what I'm gonna do guys is, I'm gonna take you to Tarrant Crawford village. Oh, Tarrant Crawford, the, just a few little houses tucked away, see some rooftops there, no. so the church is down there, I've just walked up here for a bit of explore, see what's about, I think these houses are just, from what I can see, there's like, no, I think they're just at the like end of like private drives, I think. Can't get to houses as such, unless you're a resident. See another house there. there a few little houses tucked away in the countryside, down there. And this is a, it's a public footpath. Sort of one of the many footpaths in the area. It goes past the church. Well there yeah, that's that's Tarrant Crawford. Just a few little houses and an old church. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, watching the video on all the different Tarrants. I know quite a few of them, there's hardly anything to them, just a scattering of houses along a road. But there's been some interesting bits and pieces along the way. I mean, I've enjoyed doing it, exploring a part of Dorset that I probably wouldn't normally have explored and as you can see there's some lovely countryside around i mean if tarrant crawford was more of a village rather than just a few little houses and that it's 
probably the kind of village that I'd quite happily live in. Because I am a country boy at heart. But anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, like I said. And feel free to comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. If you're new to the channel, I hope you've enjoyed watching this first video. Feel free to subscribe. For those of you that have already subscribed, I do appreciate it. Yes. Seeing my subscription numbers slowly climb up, I think I'm in the upper 70s now, but to see the subscription numbers slowly climb up, like, lets me know that there's a few of you out there that are actually enjoying what I'm doing and actually enjoying my content, which is quite nice. Because, yeah, I do it quite, quite a bit of it. The reason I'm doing it is for my pleasure, personal pleasure, but I'm also doing it for your pleasure. So, seeing the subscribers going up shows I'm doing something right. But anyway guys, see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you know the usual, that's right. Stay safe guys, take care, and God bless. Thank you.